machine learning is basically when a computer sees a lot of data and learns from it. And that can be used to, for instance, predict things that will happen. Algorithm is simply put just as a set of instructions that get you from A to B. So a food recipe could, for instance, be an algorithm. This is the current front page of Aftenposten, and you can see there are uh, a number of articles here, typically around 60 or 70, and they are ordered. So one is on the top position, and then there's on one of the on the second position and third position and so on. And the goal of these algorithms is to give the position for each article. So which article goes on top? Uh, the one of them is the most obvious. It's, we call it time decay, but it basically says that uh, when something is published, it's, it has a lot of value and then mm. it drops over time. And how do you decide this uh, value that you start with here? Uh, we start out with a value that's set by the journalist or the editor. Mm -hmm. That's something we call news value. And then it loses news value over time. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's set by this half-life uh, value, which mm -hmm. basically says how many hours it goes before it's lost half of its points. And, and the, sec uh, the second algorithm you called a live view-through rate. Yes, so uh, view-through rate is just a different word for click-through rate, but mm -hmm. you need to uh, view it also afterwards. Mm -hmm. And here we monitor uh, the performance of the articles on the front page right now. So we look at how uh, many clicks uh, the article gets mm -hmm. on a particular position uh -huh. uh, compared to how much we expect it to get at that position. And expectations here is connected to where on the front page is put, uh, for instance? Yes, so we yeah. calculate uh, what we expect in click-through rate for each position for the mm -hmm. last 30 days, mm -hmm. and then we compare how it actually performs with that. Mm -hmm. And that you can see in this graph here. So uh, here it performs better on some positions and worse on some positions. And the next algorithm is called popularity. Sounds uh, similar. It is very similar, but it looks at uh, a different time window. So mm -hmm. here we can look at uh, the last day or several days. And uh, we also take into account traffic from other sites uh, than the front page. And algorithm number four, that's where you actually do the personalization. Yes, and that's the hardest part to nail, mm -hmm. for sure. So here we try to give each uh, user uh, a personalized experience mm -hmm. by giving him more of what uh, corresponds to his interests. And how do you decide that? So it's basically two families of algorithms when mm -hmm. you do personalization. Uh, one is called content-based, and mm -hmm. that's based on the content that the user reads. Mm -hmm. So if you read a lot of sport, for instance, then you will get more sport articles. The other uh, family of algorithms is called um, collaborative filtering. Uh, we look uh, at users who are similar to you in your pattern, and then we'll recommend what they have read, but you haven't read yet. And which one uh, are you using of these two we methods? We are using content-based now. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I can show you yeah? briefly how it works. Okay. So this is one experiment we've done where we have uh, um, used an algorithm called topic modeling. And mm -hmm. topic modeling is uh, an algorithm where you feed the computer with uh, hundreds of thousands of news articles, and it tries to figure out what the articles are about mm -hmm. and how the words relate to each other. Mm. Uh, we can have a look at a couple of the yeah, topics. Yeah. So if I click, uh, for instance, uh, this topic, you can clearly see that the top words in this topic are about uh, countries. Mm -hmm. If you look at the neighboring topic, you can mm -hmm. see that it's also about countries, but this time only European countries. So this algorithm has sort of uh, figured out that uh, Europe is one uh, topic and mm -hmm. the rest of the world is a different topic. And this is pure based on the computers analyzing words in the articles and all of that trying to uh, extract some, some meaning. Yes. And uh, if you give them a different set of articles mm. to look at, then the computer will have entirely different results as well. And this is how the computer is learning. Yes. It learns from observing the data, but it's not told what to learn or what the country is even. <laughs> This is basically where we uh, want to give the editors superpowers. So uh, the editors themselves decide how much they want of each algorithm. So mm -hmm. here we'll uh, look at time decay and live ETR. And basically what we do is just to combine the scores by adding them. 
So uh, this depends on which newspaper it is, of course. Some are more tabloid than others, but you basically can uh, drag the slider here mm -hmm. to see uh, how tabloid a uh, front page you want. So if you drag this all the way to the right, you'll get the most tabloid uh, articles. Because now you're top. increasing the weight of the, the live view to rate. Yes. And similarly, if we drop it uh, down to zero, then mm -hmm. you'll basically get the recent stories on top.